Hey plant gang, uh, we've got the beautiful Columbine Aguilegia canadensis here. This really has come out of nowhere in the beginning of the April garden. Really, you don't notice, in the, notice this plant and then boom, all of a sudden uh, it's right here really showing off. Uh, now these ones have seeded in this area. Columbine is known to self-seed quite well, uh, but these delicate uh, drooping flowers are kind of the calling card of the columbine. There are different hybrid ones that you can be available, uh, that you can find that are available uh, in the landscape industry, but uh, just the straight species is beautiful and really a joy in the woodland garden. So Aguilegia canadensis, the columbine, this is a herbaceous perennial, uh, hardy from zones three through eight, gets two to three foot high, spreading out uh, just one to one and a half foot tall, uh, bloom time can be anywhere from early April to May, depending on uh, where you live. A wide range where this plant can grow, again, hardy from zones three through eight. So in those colder zones, you're going to be blooming a little bit later. Uh, the flowers, light pink, yellow to blood red yellow. Uh, this plant in especially a little bit cooler zones uh, can handle a little bit more sun, maybe even full sun in some situations, but typically this is thought of as a part shade herbaceous perennial. It really has medium uh, moisture requirements, uh, showy in particular uh, in the spring garden. I like it just to kind of uh, meander through the spring garden. Easily grown average medium well-drained soils. Again in full sun in some cases uh, to part shade in other cases. Really you have to seek out other gardeners in your area uh, to see where it's going to grow the best for you. Uh, this plant is most likely uh, to be found, though, in the woodland garden. Uh, this is a great plant for the edges of the woodland garden because it really is going to die down uh, as it starts to get a little bit hotter as we progress through the season. So let's talk a little bit about the flower. Uh, this plant features a drooping bell-like one inch to two and a half, uh, two inch red and yellow flower with red sepals, yellow limbed petals, and five distinctive red spurs and a mass of limbed petals. Five distinctive red spurs and a mass of bushy yellow stamens. Uh, these are very delicate foliaged plants. Uh, the foliage, you'd call it bitternate foliage. Uh, and it is beautiful uh, once the flower has gone by. And so continue to water this plant and you'll still have the foliage uh, left behind. Here's a landscape tip. Great to use in borders for cottage gardens, in open shade gardens, or woodland gardens in naturalized areas.